Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you're most welcome. This is Pastor Francis uh, once again uh, from tebitalks.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can sign in uh, to uh, Google Chrome. Uh, so, to start with, I'll go ahead and uh, open Google Chrome. Uh, so uh, this is our interface for Google Chrome. So whenever we want to, we are using Google Chrome. Uh, first of all, in this interface, as you can see uh, in uh, this uh, part here, uh, you can see this is uh, the, the search box. Uh, this is where we type each and everything we want to search. After typing it here, uh, this is like the keyword you want, you are searching or you want to look for. Uh, then you go ahead and click and hit this uh, button of uh, Google search. Uh, then after that, if you don't want to type, maybe you can use uh, just uh, your microphone by just, uh, because uh, Google Chrome uh, recognizes the speech, uh, it has speech recognition, uh, you can uh, talk and then everything will be okay. Uh, then you can also use this for sharing uh, this is for speech, this is for sharing, and then this is like a camera or uh, you can get uh, get a video and then uh, that will also be recognized within uh, Google search. Uh, then apart from that, we have uh, this other option. Uh, first of all, the first one is the Gmail. As I told you uh, in the beginning, uh, the Gmail is the Google Mail, which uh, facilitate uh, the Google communication using the mail address. And then we have the images. This allows you to uh, pick or uh, uh, store images to your uh, store, to your email. Uh, then we have this uh, option here. This is uh, uh, where we find all the applications uh, that are associated with uh, Google Chrome. Uh, then on uh, our side here, we have the sign in. Uh, so no matter for you to enjoy all these other services, uh, first of all, you need to sign in. So we are going to, uh, first of all, uh, sign in to our uh, Chrome, then we shall see how best we can use the rest of the tools. Uh, so uh, what we are going to do, I'll go ahead and click hit on sign in option, on this button of sign in. Uh, then from there, uh, you can see I have, uh, I think let me first uh, I remove this. Okay, so I have, uh, I need to choose an account. I need to uh, choose an account. So for example, if you have, uh, you don't have any of this account uh, on, in the browser, uh, you will see the interface will look like this. Uh, the first one we say Google, then uh, second one is sign in, then use your Google account. So here you need to have an account uh, with Google. So when you have an account, go ahead and put the email or the phone that you used when you're creating an account. If you don't have an account, maybe you're forgotten, uh, go ahead and click on forget the account. Then you will be told to put the phone number or the recovery email that you use so that you can easily uh, recover your uh, account. The other thing is that if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create one. Uh, so there are three types of accounts. One is for yourself as a, an adult who is maybe using, uh, who want to use Google Chrome. And then the other one could be for your child. If it is a minor child, uh, then you have to select that. And uh, then if it is for a business, you have to select the other one. So uh, for example, in most cases, uh, uh, the biggest percentage of people, uh, they use the first one uh, for self. So you click on that. And then from there, you can go ahead and fill this form. And then uh, you can, uh, after filling the form, you will be able to uh, create an account. Uh, so I will not go find that. I'm, I want to just sign in because I have already an account with Google Chrome. So I will show you how to, how to do this. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how we can create an account with Google Chrome. So for now, I want to sign in. So I'll go ahead and type my email. Okay. 
Okay, then type my email. Uh, so normally, uh, when you are when you're working with Google, uh, just type the first, uh, the first uh, uh, keyword or the first username of your domain uh, email address. Then after that, press enter, and then uh, the other extension of at and the the Gmail domain and the dot com extension uh, will uh, will be uh, added automatic. So now you can see my email has been added and you can see even the profile picture and then my name here, behind password. Uh, so what is next? It means now Google Chrome has uh, recognized my email because I've been using it. Uh, now it has, it has been able to recognize it. So I'll go ahead and type in the password. I'll go ahead and type in the password. So after typing the password, now I'll be able to now uh log I'll be logged into uh, Google Chrome. So after being logged into Google Chrome, uh now you can see I uh, that uh, I have now my account logged in. Uh so I can easily now uh, use these applications uh like the Google account. I can use the Google search. I can Google Business Profile Manager. I can use Google Maps. Uh, the YouTube, Play Store, the News, Gmail, uh, Meet, uh, Contacts, uh, uh, Drive, Calendar, uh, Translator, Google, uh, Google Photos, and and so on. Then I can also uh, I go direct to the Gmail uh, and can also uh, choose the what uh, the images. So uh, now in this case, maybe I can uh, use one of these applications, uh, say YouTube. So click on YouTube, and after that, when you click on YouTube now here, it is now easy for you to uh, do whatever thing you want. You can create a channel, you can upload a video, you can go live. So whatever thing you want to do, you can do it because you already logged in uh, to your uh, Google account. Uh, the other thing you can do is that when you already uh, logged into your account, uh, you can do other things like... Uh, uh, when you come here in the footer, you see I can I have advertising. Uh, when you click on that advertising, uh, Google has the option for Google Ads where you can uh, create an advert for your business and then uh, you can start uh, advertising or you can also run ads on your website or your blog uh, so that people can advertise on your website. Uh, the other thing we can do is... Uh, The other thing we can do with this, uh, we can uh, go to Google Business. Uh, Google Business, this is where, uh, first of all, uh, you can go online and uh, find out all the products, different tools and resources that you need uh, to move your business uh, forward and help uh, reach your goals. Uh, so uh, you can go, and go ahead and say get uh, the essentials and you can go ahead now and start a web address. Uh, this is where you suggest a, a domain name, which is a link to your business. You can get a business email address uh, with a, a Google Workspace. Uh, you can build a website direct, and then you can show up on Google a business profile. Uh, so this is uh, this part is for people who are who are really who have a business, and uh, uh, they want to use like. Uh, they want to use Google Chrome to expand their business. I said, first of all, what you can do, you can get a web address uh, with a, do a Google domain, a web address with a Google uh, domain. So the other thing is that you can get a business email. You can get a business email, and then you can also build a website with the Google uh, website builder. You can also show up your products on uh, Google. Uh, so, uh, apart from that, the next thing we can do when we are using Google Chrome is that uh, apart from the business part of it, we can go to privacy. Uh, the privacy, this is a document that uh, shows you that indicates uh, the Google Chrome privacy. Uh, this could include the, like, the information that Google will collect from you. 
uh, uh, why Google will collect data such information, like the name, uh, the age, uh, the first name, last name, uh, and then what will be your privacy uh, controls, like if Google can uh, collect this information, uh, how private is it? And then uh, sharing information, which other third parties will Google share your information with? And then how will it be secure? And uh, about, we will also know about exporting and deleting your information. Like when you click on that, you'll get each and every information on what they are trying to mean on this uh, subring. Uh, so normally this is just the uh, privacy. And then we have also the, uh, we have the uh, terms of service. Uh, the terms of service is the, uh, like your relationship with Google, uh, the services, the contents, the software, and the problem or disagreement with Google software. Then the technologies, uh, when I talk of technologies here, they mean like advertisement, uh, the cookies and the Google locations, like the uh, Google Maps, credits, card, like when you, uh, you are doing online transaction, uh, of course, uh, Google uh, Chrome will uh, save your details, like your credit card numbers and uh, payment details, and then how Google Voice works, uh, then the Google product privacy guide and uh, Google retains data, and then Google will retain the data that will correct. Then this is the frequent asked question, uh, like how questions which are clients or which customers of Google ask every time, and then the uh, answers available. Uh, so uh, that is about Google privacy and the terms. Then uh, the other thing that you also uh, get to learn is uh, uh, about the uh, the settings. You Google, uh, Google Chrome settings, it is uh, also one of the best important thing. Uh, when you talk about the Google settings, one, there are settings which are related to research or search setting. Then we have advanced search. Uh, then we have uh, data search. Then we have the history, uh, uh, search help, and uh, feedback. So let's start with uh, search settings. So when you click on that, uh, you can now uh, configure your uh, Chrome uh, different way by, first of all, uh, search the results. You can, these are different settings. You can uh, update maybe the region. Like here, I can update the region, maybe current region. Or oh, I can say that I, have, I see here I have Afghanistan, Alabama, Alabama Algeria, America, Samoa, Samoa, Adola, Angola, and so on. Uh, so I can set a current location. Then, uh, then the other thing you can set the language. Which language do you want to use? By default, I have Dutch, English, Espanol, uh, Francais, and uh, many other languages. Uh, the appearance. How do you want? Maybe one dark, dark theme. Like if I set dark theme, then I press OK. I go ahead and press that. Now you can see my uh, web, uh, my, my browser uh, has really been updated to this dark theme. Uh, then the other thing I can uh, still get under the uh, search setting is the, the, the help. Uh, the help part is where you ask a question, like you get this search box and they ask you, describe your issue. Uh, what do you want? Normally we have some popular topics which are available. These popular topics were obtained from different uh, questions which were asked by other people who have been using this uh, web browser. So you can, uh, popular articles, like manage and delete your search. When you click on that, then you'll get all the details on how you can do that. Uh, so, uh, then the other thing uh, about the, you can get about the community, Google search, then uh, and uh, other 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 topics, uh, privacy, terms of service, feed, the feedback, you know. Uh, you can submit the feedback, you know. There are many things you can do uh, with this uh, tool. So uh, generally, uh, this is so far what we can do when we're using the settings. Uh, then we say that the other thing we can uh, work with is that uh, the other thing we can uh, work with is that you can go direct to the Gmail. This is if you want to open an email address. Uh, then we can also go to our uh, store, uh, Google Store. 
Uh, so Google Store, what does this do? Uh, first of all, this is where uh, all the fresh deals are, are blooming and spring. Uh, for example, you can see all the available products for sale. Uh, so you can go and buy anything you want online, uh, like anything you want, or you can also go ahead and sell some of the things on, uh, online uh, with this. You can sign up and start selling. Uh, this could be like uh, phones, uh, iPad, ear, ear pads, watches, smartphone, laptops, accessory, and so on. For example, if I uh, go to laptops, I open the laptops now, I will be able to preview uh, different uh, types of laptops which are available at Google, with Google Store. And then I can choose which type of laptop I want. And then I go ahead and buy it. Uh, yeah. And then the other thing, uh, maybe apart from that, maybe if you want to buy a phone, I go ahead and click on the phone. And then you see all the available phones like I want to buy, for example, I want to buy uh, this phone, uh, Pixel 6a, uh, click on that phone, I will click on it, and then uh, you get all the details about the phone, like overview, the uh, specification, comparison, and how ways to buy. And then from there, if you feel that you are really interested, even the price of the phone will be uh, shown here, and the, uh, like, uh, if you want to get on, like, on, under financing or you want to pay cash, like FG and everything at the at the go, then it's up to you to know what to do, man. So uh, generally, that's how you can uh, work with this. So as I told you, Google Chrome is the best. Uh, you can do a lot of things with Google Chrome. And the, uh, the other things you can learn, uh, maybe uh, like uh, you, as you can see, uh, we talked about the YouTube, we talked uh, about uh, the account. You can go ahead and search uh, something you want online. You can use Google Map. Uh, for example, if you want to move somewhere, maybe I want to travel to maybe Las Vegas. Uh, I want to say Las Vegas. I just uh, type Las Vegas here and then uh, you will get the map of Las Vegas. So normally here you need to know the your, the G, how to use the GPS. GPS is the uh, global positioning satellite. So you type the G, the 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 call, I mean the address of where you want to go. Maybe I want to go like north Las Vegas. Uh, click on that, and then uh, you will be able to see like the overview of uh, that place you want to, and then uh, the location, and then from there. Now you can start uh, moving. Like, of course, GPS, right? You know very well if you're in the United States, uh, the GPS is one of the tools which is used by everyone every day, uh, whether you are driving or uh, whatever means of transport you're using, uh, GPS can still work for you. And then the other thing you can get is uh, uh, the news. Uh, news, this is where you uh, get to be updated about the current information, what's coming in going from different parts of the world. Uh, so Google Chrome is connected with different uh, news channels or news uh, companies. Like I can see I have top story from uh, Fox News, the Capitol Hill, Los Angeles Times, the CBS and the uh, MSNBS. All these are, are, are big and strong companies that uh, provide information every day. Uh, then you can also have, or can use a um, uh, Play Store. A uh, Play Store, like when you're doing, when you're using Android phone, of course now we have Play Stores for Windows, we have Play Store for phones, tablets, and TV, and then the Chromebook. So now I'm on, on Windows, I'm using Windows. So you can see we have different games, you can store a game. Uh, if you go to the apps, uh, you can see different applications. Uh, like all these are the application that you can work with and you know uh, install whatever application you want. Uh, movies and TVs. Uh, these are the different movies which are available on Play Store. Uh, some are for uh, paying. That's why you are able to see there's uh, a bit of uh, dollars on it. So before downloading them, you need to pay. Uh, I think some others are for free. So uh, there are things like TV, family studios, and networks. 
So all that can really be uh, found under uh, the Presto. The other thing you can get is uh, the Google Meet. Google Meet is uh, a platform where we do video conferencing. You can start a new meeting with your friends uh, within a short period of time. You can connect to your colleagues uh, wherever they are, anytime, uh, anywhere. So uh, just uh, cre create a new meeting. You can create a new meeting or start an instant meeting and uh, there everything uh, will be uh, okay. For example, if I start that, and then it will start, as you see, it will start connecting. And then if I allow the camera, uh, everything gonna be uh, connected. And then I can go ahead and start a meeting. Uh, but now I don't want to go to that because uh, it will just disorganize my, uh, my, yeah, it, so I will just leave that maybe in your free time, you can try to create a new meeting and you see how best you can uh, use that to start uh, uh, workshops and conferences with your friends online. Uh, then the other thing is Google Drive. Google Drive is also very important. Uh, this is a store. This is where you create uh, folders and upload the files and, you know, upload different kind of documents you want. Uh, contacts, this one, uh, you can save your contacts. And then we have calendar, this for appointments. Like if you have an upcoming appointment, uh, it can be uploaded, you know, saved in the calendar. Then we have the translation. This way you translate each and every language. I think I talked about this earlier. Uh, Google Photos, you can save your photos on Google Chrome. And then we have uh, Google Chat. This is like the, uh, uh, the, uh, the media, the media where you can communicate or chat directly with other people who are uh, using the same uh, environment, that is Google environment. And then we have my uh, my ad center, adv this advertisement, uh, like where you can configure different ads and, you know, learn them. Then we have the shopping. Of course, we talked about the, uh, the store where you can buy different products. Then we have the documents, Google documents. Uh, this include Microsoft uh, uh, no, not Microsoft, like they are some, almost related to Microsoft the Office uh, document, uh, I mean Office products or Office packages like uh, the Word, Excel, uh, Slide, and so on. So here in Google Doc, we have the, the doc document which works like a uh, Word, a Word document for formatting. We have the spreadsheet where you can do different calculation and do data analysis and and uh, develop different models. Uh, then we have slide for presentation. Then we have the books here. You can get different books written by different people. You can also sell your own book. Then we have the blogs. This is uh, like where you can start your uh, social uh, networking website. Then we have the hangouts uh, for uh, communications like a media where you can interact with your people or your friends. Uh, then we have the like Jamboard, we have Cube Classroom. Classroom is very, very important for uh, students and you know uh, teachers who want to coordinate with their runners. Uh, then we have Google uh, Google Earth collection ads, and you know, there are very many things you can really learn or you can get when you are using Google Chrome. Uh, so uh, now like uh, I think we have really uh, I try to uh, look at some of this. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Uh, what I can tell you is that you just uh, go ahead and uh, learn how you can create an account with Google. That is a Gmail account. After that, go ahead and sign in so that uh, you can enjoy all these features. And uh, you know, uh, you can also add a new account. You can have like uh, two or three or even five accounts at the same time. And then at the end of the day, remember to sign out uh, because it is one of the uh, recommendations for your security. Uh, so uh, I think uh, uh, I told, I talked about this, like uh, say this is a search uh, box where you type the keyword of something you want to search. Uh, maybe I want to search about the uh, Kaiser permanent and then you can get whatever thing you want. Uh, maybe I want, I, if you want to, uh, remove that, you can just click that. Then maybe you want to search about uh, tabitalks.com. Uh, then just type tabitalks.com. Then you get all the details about tabitalks. 
and then you can open whatever you want to know about table talks and then uh, you know uh if you want to use this one uh, search by voice uh, you click on that and allow the microphone uh, to use that then go ahead i don't want to allow it because it will interrupt my video recording but uh, please guys if you want to test go ahead and allow your microphone uh, to record and then as you talk uh, whatever thing you are talking will be uh, typed in this search box uh, then uh, the other thing is that you can search by image uh, upload an image maybe you want to uh, search about the, maybe uh, the keyboard uh, uh, go ahead and upload the keyboard then from there uh, you get all the details or other uh, things related to the keyboard you know yeah so generally uh, this is for search this uh, button is for search and the uh, I told you like uh, the other thing we can talk about is that uh, uh, here we have these three tools. Uh, this is what we call like the uh, the this is a tool called uh, uh, go like when you go back, like you're trying to go back, and this is go forward, go back, uh, go forward, and then this is like uh, you know, a kind of a cancel, then refresh. Refresh is like you are trying to uh, uh, refresh the page so that it can start afresh again. And then this is where you type the the search, what you are searching. Normally this is where the, the URL, uh, the URL is the uniform resource locator. For example, as you see here, I have HTTPS as, as semicolon dash dash www.google.com. Uh, this HTTP, HTTPS is the hypertext uh, hypertext transfer transfer uh, hypertext transfer protocol system, and then we have the extension uh, www.google.google .go is the domain name, and .com is the extension for commercial. So this is the URL, and the uh, for example, if I type uh, Tebby Talks, okay, okay, uh, let me show you guys. If I type uh, Tebby Talks. And then I, I click search. So when you see here, this is the URL for Tebitox is hypertext transfer protocol system. And Tebitox is the domain name. And then .com is a commercial extension. If it is .org, .org is .organization. IDU is education. Uh, GOV is government, you know, and so on. Uh, so uh, the other thing we can talk about is the uh, what we call the bookmark. As you can see here, this is what we call, I mean the extension. And then uh, we have here the bookmark. Uh, so uh, like when you come here to this extension, you can manage uh, different extensions. Uh, we have different extension like Adobe Acrobat. You can remove this extension or you can check the details and upload it. We have the, the MCFA, this is the one of the strong uh, antiviruses which is available to my PC. Uh, you can remove or operate it. And then all oh, this is what we call, whenever you want to add an extension, uh, you can do that. So uh, how do we add that? Uh, like, uh, you can load different, uh, up, you can really uh, upload uh, the, a certain extension or search for extension. For example, I want an extension for like, uh, you know, like, uh, say drivers. Uh, I run like uh, drivers. I don't have that. I say maybe I say I want the premier. I say I want something like to do with the. So even this one I don't have. So first of all, you need to know the, the if you have a certain a name of certain uh extension you want to add, then you can go ahead and uh add that one. Uh, then the other thing here is of course the uh, side show the side panel. You can click on that so you can have this side panel. We have two windows uh, like divided with different panels. 
and then you can add another uh, like add a current tab you can add a tab here and then you have the reading list like you know all the book you can see i have the bookmark here you can have also the bookmark here so and you can create a bookmark here you name the extension of the bookmark and then uh, where do you want like to save the bookmark in which folder you can choose another folder from this so all that can be done uh, under that then uh, we have this you can share this page uh, with by getting a link or casting uh, share casting like sharing on different screen or save the page uh, to one of the drives in your computer uh, then the other thing is that when you check on this account where you have the profile picture you'll see these three uh, dots or uh, these three lines uh, which are in you know in uh, vertical uh, so on this you see first of all I have the new tab when you click on that you get a new tab that is open uh, now uh, the other thing I can get is the new window as you see here I have a new window which is separate from the other one. So a new tab and a new window, the difference is that a new tab will open on that uh, existing uh, window, but the new window will open in another page or another window without the other uh, the, the other terms. And then you have a new Ignito ign window. Uh, so this one, uh, it's also another window, by, uh, which is a private, a private window. And then, uh, we also have like downloads uh, here. This way we get all the files which has been downloaded. Then we can open from here and we'll see like where the, fo the folders and the direct directories where these are saved. Uh, then we have the bookmarks. We have a uh, bookmark. Uh, uh, then from there, uh, I think uh, we want to can go back to this. Then I have, uh, I say I have bookmark. And then I have the zoom, uh, that's zoom in and zoom out. I, I think you know what the, the difference between zoom and zoom out. Then I can go ahead and also print the page, like uh, printing the, my, uh, the Windows page, could be email, could be whatever thing you're working on. Uh, you can go ahead and print it. And then you can also cast it, uh, share the screen. Then you can find something that's a research tool. And then you have the other tools like save page or you can go to other extension or can come up with uh, or the wind developer tools. Developer tools is like when you have a page, then you want to uh, like uh, go to the console and look how uh, the, uh, the the page was developed. Uh, like by going at the styles, uh, computation, the layout, event listener, and you know uh, the coding, the coding, the console code, the source code, and each and everything. Uh, so this is done when you are trying to. Uh, troubleshoot different uh, errors which are found in web pages. So uh, the other thing, of course, I talked about the uh, settings. Uh, you can do different settings and, you know, everything uh, will be okay when you're done. You can exit and also close that. So everything uh, will be okay. Uh, so uh, guys, uh, I think uh, that is uh, how we can really use uh, uh, Microsoft, I mean, how we can use uh, Google Chrome. Uh, first of all, by signing in. After signing in, we get access to all the tools and application uh, which are provided or which Google Chrome comes in. We have seen there's a lot of tools we can enjoy when we uh, sign in. So I would recommend that first of all, go ahead and create an account. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can create uh, an account, but for now, I want, if you have an account already, you have an email, go ahead and sign in, start enjoying those tools uh, so that they can support you in whatever thing you're doing, uh, be it business, uh, be it education, and other thing. Remember, TB Talks is for technology, education, and business. So please remember to uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, go and register to our website, tabitalks.com, so that you can learn more. Although, thank you guys, I mean, as your best friend, Pasue Francis. See you guys.